Hi, I'm David Neville, Assistant Professor of German and Director of Language Learning Technologies at Elon University. Um, for the last several months, I've been working on a three-dimensional digital game-based learning environment for teaching German. Um, and I've gotten to, I've reached a milestone in development. I've gotten all the models uh, built and inserted into the game space. And um, I've been able to do some basic scripting for the graphical user interface that you see at the bottom of the screen. So, and some of the player interactivity. So, what I want to do with the game is when the player is inserted into this virtual world, he or she will be assigned to get into the museum. However, before they could get into the museum, the uh, as you see at the bottom of the screen there, the they're informed that they have to clean up the trash around the town first. So there will be some bottles, some cans, some paper laying around, and according to the type of trash that it is, they will have to go over and either throw it away into the trash can or to uh, sort it according to uh, whether it's brown glass, whether it's green glass, or whether it is clear glass. Now, uh, so what they're trying to, what I like to have them do is I like to have them use vocabulary uh, in a in their in knowledge of a of a situated or a simulated real world space to perform some real actions. They're going to have to uh, find the bottles figure out what type of bottles they are, uh, and then walk over here in sort of a, in a very real manner, it was the way they would in Germany, and dispose of the bottles accordingly. So uh, several different things are coming together here. We have uh, vocabulary, we have knowledge of world spaces, and then acting on that knowledge. The idea being that once the students act on this knowledge, they will uh, develop mental schemata that they could transfer to a real-world situation. So this uh, this building here is uh, it's based on sort of pictures I've seen and my knowledge of how they look in Germany. It doesn't exist in the real world, but uh, I think it's enough. It's a faci uh, it's a good faci uh, facsimile, so that. Um, students were to play this game, practice it, and then go to Germany, they would probably be able to know what to do in a situation that's similar to it. So um, we have some little things I'm going to be working on. In the next stage, I'm going to actually be scripting this and getting the interactivity down. So students shouldn't open the door. Please don't open the door. If they open the door, it says, well, why did you open the door? And they have to close it. I um, also have some Geld, Money, Gesundheit, Health, and Punkte points. So for instance, we have a fountain here with the, some nice refracting and reflecting going on in the water right here. If students were to jump into this, which maybe some of them will try, they will uh, lose points or maybe uh, lose money uh, for a monetary fine. So uh, there's a lot of different things we could do with here to make it a little more fun and interesting. I'll do a quick run around right here so you can sort of see the outside of the building. And um, so uh, basically we'll do a quick prototype test in uh, fall semester, uh, sorry, spring semester 2011 and see how students perform with this. Now I'm going to develop this all as open source so in, in the future other people could participate and do some developing as well and I will do uh, continue to develop uh, work as well. So uh, anyway, the Digibond project.